self quarantined. Is this your interpretation of social distancing? Yeah, I quarantined myself in here. And now I can't touch my face. So, some of you might be aware that there is a... I'm trying to not get demonetized. A bad thing going around that gets into your body and does other bad things. You heard of it? <laughs> Uh, Armor Max, the company that we've worked with a couple times that does armor plating and bulletproofing and bomb proofing on cars. These are the gas mask respirators that they offer and pair with their vehicles. Do you feel safe? Never safer, Dan. Earlier today, we took a stroll around uh, a local store with Mitchell wearing one of these. And how was that experience? Uh, nobody looked at me straight. I don't think anybody can hear you right now. Yep. So what we're gonna find out today, just because we can, is can this mask with this cartridge save me from bear spray? If you watched our car air filter gas mask where we tear gassed my brother, I was wearing a mask like this and I was the one doing the tear gassing and some of it kind of came through. Being sprayed in the face with bear spray with this, I'm a little apprehensive. And play the clip where I was holding the camera and I got a lot of it. Like Dan maybe got one tear, I got... <laughs> I got hit by a wave. <coughs> but the difference is, I was using a cheap Amazon cartridge, and these are, from our research, they're pretty heavy duty. Protects against chemical and biological warfare agents like sarin and other nerve gases, mustard gas, cyanogen, arsenine, phosgene, radioactive and highly toxic particles, aerosols, microorganisms, bacteria, and viruses. Warfare and terrorism agents such as anthrax, sarin, smallpox, mustard gas, as well as riot control agents like CN and CS tear gas. Maybe this will do better. I've also got some Tyvek stuff that I'm gonna be wearing, and I'm gonna get hit directly in the face. First aid, have with you when obtaining treatment, if on skin or clothing. Take off contaminated clothing, rinse skin immediately with plenty of water for 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> Call Poison Control Center, a doctor, or what? this number immediately for treatment advice. If in eyes, hold eye open and rinse slowly and gently with water for 20 minutes. Remove contact lenses if present. After the first five minutes, then continue rinsing eye. Call Poison Control Center, doctor, or this number immediately for treatment advice. So you're totally safe. Yeah, this is a good idea. I'm, I'm feeling real good about this. Okay, I'm all suited up now. I'm really, really nervous. We ready? That's tape. I'm gonna get it on my hair. Yeah, you are. You just already are. Okay. Yeah. It's like chemically smelly, but it's not burning unless I. Hey! <laughs> Got some right by your eye now. See, I don't think you could take that just smelling it. I like it, man. You got some right by the corner of your eye when you touch with your glove. It's starting to burn a little bit right there. Like I can feel it and I want to scratch it, but <laughs> ah! don't worry, Dan, I got it on video. Oh, I got it in my eye! <laughs> I can't get this off! 
<laughs> I'd help you, but I gotta hold the camera. <laughs> I can't see a thing. <laughs> that spot on your head is like sweating right in that one spot. Why can't I break this? A few moments later. So, oh, that was like a drop. It, was <laughs> it wasn't even a drop. It, it was, was a, a it was a smear. Got into the corner of my eye, completely like forced my eyes closed. And when I started washing my face, I think I had some smeared up here. Yeah. Now this entire part, of, my entire face feels like it's on fire right now. Scared to touch any other part of my body, especially my wrists. I'm pretty sure that's some right there, yeah. and that doesn't burn. But a few moments later, so the back of my neck is starting to burn. It looks like a sunburn. <laughs> There's like a little patch here where it didn't get, and then like another red spot right by your ear. I tried wiping it down, but it just. It feels like water almost like activates it. <laughs> Tomorrow. After reviewing the footage from yesterday, I know that some of you are probably gonna say that I was overreacting. It was bad. Yeah, I got like one one millionth as much on me as I, Dan did on him, and like it burned my hands. I can only imagine the pain that Dan was in. Like his neck was so red. I had a decent amount that was like smeared across my neck. Just imagine the worst sunburn you've ever had. And then imagine somebody slapping it as hard as they can continuously for an hour. <laughs> that's, that's what my neck felt like last night. <laughs> but a couple other observations, that spray on the bottle, it says it was supposed to shoot 30 feet. And it was just like, it was like six feet maybe. Yeah, it, was, it was weak and it was like a cloud right in Craig's face. It came out as like a mist. We were expecting more of like a hornet spray for it to go that far, so. And the spray only lasts four seconds and then it's empty. So if you're out in the woods and you run into a bear, wait until it gets a little bit closer because I... That would be scary though. Well, yeah, but imagine if it's 30 feet away, you spray it all and then it's empty and the bear's still coming after you. Yeah, but imagine he's coming after you and he's like five feet away and then you spray it. He's got all that momentum and then that's and anger and then you just got to quickly sidestep out of the way <laughs> i don't know <laughs> we're not going to cut this in half without ever touching it with our bare hands and uh just get a good look inside that canister black stuff I think is carbon that's inside the, the filter and then that keeps it from actually going in your mouth there's a little filter in the screen and then before that there's like a looks like a HEPA filter style you know pleated filter in there that is supposedly good enough to filter out mustard gas and smallpox and a bunch of other things like the viruses we're dealing with nowadays. Yes. Both the literal ones and the figurative ones. Computer viruses. <laughs> and it also protects against uh, bear spray. So it goes like that. Yeah. And then so they... that's directed right at your mouth. And you breathe in and it goes through those air passages and all your breaths come through that giant filter. And then when you breathe out, does it go back through the same way? Is there like I a- I think it's got a one way valve. I don't think it think exhales it through. Too. It looks like there might be something down there. You can see part of the valve here as you breathe in, that would- Well, yeah, and there's a flappy. passage down there. I think that then- Yeah, there's a releases maybe out through that front vent. Yeah, out those holes there. So your exhales 
Go out there and your inhales go through the filter. Don't do that. Bear spray gets way worse when it gets wet. Which is why when it touches like the inside of your nose and your eyes, it just immediately starts burning. But on your skin, it takes a while. But it sucks because you have to like wash it off. And then it hurts for like two hours after. I can attest to that. So if you want to make sure you don't touch your face, um, just smear some bear spray on Smear some bear spray on your hands and you will not touch your face. Neither of us have touched our face since yesterday because we're so scared of uh, experiencing that again. So this is, this is pretty effective. Click here if you'd like to see when we uh, took a car air filter and tried to make a gas mask. Lots of tears on that one. Or click here to see the video YouTube thinks you'll like. Or subscribe. Or watch another video. Do whatever you care, I don't care. Do whatever you want.